Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, I'm bringing you guys the top four monthly dividend stocks that you should probably add to your portfolio today, especially in the month of October, guys. But these four dividend stocks can make you um, passive income every single month because they pay out their dividends every single month. So you guys can be able to pay off your bills, pay off your car note with your passive income by doing absolutely nothing in the form of dividends. And these four companies that I'm bringing you guys today in this video has a very high dividend yield and they pay out every single month. You could take the compound interest effect and reinvest it back into these companies to make even more year after year like I'm gonna show you in this video. Or you could start to pay off a couple of your bills with your passive income in the form of dividends, guys. But before we go into these four dividends, make sure that you guys go down, hit the subscribe button hit the thumbs up button and most importantly hit that notification bell by hitting that notification bell that helps out this channel more than you can even imagine if you want to support this channel hit that notification bell but before we dive into this video this video is brought to you by Moomoo sign up now by clicking the link down in the description deposit $100 and you will receive a free stock of Lucid that is an electric vehicle company um, you're guaranteed that stock if you click that link down in the description. Also, there's a link in the description to Weeble. Sign up now with Weeble, deposit $100, and you receive two free stocks valued up to $1,750. With those two free stocks, you could keep them inside the platform and use it, or you could sell those two free stocks and withdraw all of your money. It's literally free money, guys. Do not pass up on free money. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Here we are on my Robinhood account. I'm sitting at $72,193.51. The four dividends that we're gonna go over in this video is EPR properties. That's a real estate REIT. Uh, re uh, realty income, that is known as the monthly dividend stock. Um, Stag, whoo, let me tell you guys about Stag. You're gonna see in this video. And then um, PBA, uh, pipeline. All right, so let's go over the first one, which is EPR. All right, EPR properties. So EPR properties, they have a dividend yield of 0.144%. Robinhood is not so accurate, but they are a $3.9 billion company. And over the last year, they're up 104% after taking a big dip from the pandemic. Um, they still have not fully recovered up to their $77 price point. And one thing about um, EPR is that their real estate REIT, real estate REITs are required to pay back their investors 90% of their taxable income in the form of dividends, which is why they usually have pretty sweet dividends. So EPR, um, they specialize in only experimental real estate such as um, movie theaters like AMC theaters, ski resorts, and other gaming facilities. But as you guys know, um, AMC, um, ski resorts, and other gaming places all got shut down from the pandemic. But as the pandemic start to recover, you guys can see um, EPR price start to recover. And during the pandemic, um, they did halt their dividends, they cut off their dividends um, because they was not bringing in any sorts of income from the movie theaters, the ski resorts, or the gaming facilities. But as the world started to open back up, um, they started to recover and they did bring back their dividends on July 2021. So they brought back their dividends, which is uh, it yields now over 6%. So now they're back to a 6% dividend yield company. And it looked like we could still be getting them on sale. And this, and this is um, EPR properties. So this is one to definitely have on your radar. Um, right now they're $52. You could get them all the way back up to $80-ish if they do fully recover as the economy start to open back up, as um, people start to go back to the movie theaters, you can see um, EPR start to recover back to their original state. Um, the next one is ticker symbol O, Realty Income. This is known as the monthly paying dividend stock. Over the last year, they're up 4%. Um, they have a dividend yield of 4.19% and they are a $26.17 billion company. Now, now Realty Income is a compelling investment. Uh, it is a portfolio of strong um, clientele, including Walmart, Dollar General. And as these tenants um, should continue to do well, as long as Walmart and Dollar General is doing pretty good, 
then you're going to consistently get your dividend payments from the monthly paying dividend stock. So ticker symbol O, Realty Income. It's also a real estate REIT. And this is one that I actually have inside of my portfolio. I've been getting dividend payments from them for quite a time now. And this is one that you guys should probably also have on your watch list to add to your portfolio. And that is ticker symbol O, Realty Income. Now the third one is Stag. Let's go to Stag right quick. Now Stag, man, listen, when I when I do the analysis at the end of this video, keep an eye out on Stag. Now Stag over the last year is up 22%. They have a dividend yield of 3.57% and they're a $6.72 billion company. Now Stag, uh, what's notable about them is that 40% of Stag industrial portfolio handles e-commerce activities with Amazon. So yes, they work with Amazon um, as an e-retailer, uh, which drives demand for the industry for the industrial space. It has rented out as uh, at healthy rates. So Stag owns the buildings that Amazon is there. All of their facilities, they drop off facilities, and they own that real estate land that Amazon is using that um, off of and it's 40% of staff portfolio. So as long as Amazon is doing good, as long as Amazon is still expanding, Stag is gonna expand and they have been killing it guys. You will, you could have made so much money from Stag um, over the last five years up 82% and you would have made even more in the form of dividends passive income by doing absolutely nothing. So you wanna invest into these real estate REITs that have great companies inside of their portfolio that they're leasing out their land to like Stag. Fourth one is PBA. So let's pull that up right quick, PBA. Um, this is a pipeline company that have a dividend yield of 6.07%, a $18 billion company. And over the last year, they're up 44%. And over the last five years, they still have not recovered from the um, pandemic, but they still are up 8% over the last five years. Uh, Pre-pandemic, they was up 40 to $40, and now they're at $32.90. All right. Now, unlike the other ones, uh, this is not a real estate REIT. This is a pipeline company. It is a Canadian company specialized in transportation and storage infrastructures for the oil and gas sector. Majority of its income is from fee-based contracts, uh, which explains why the company can not only pay, but also increase dividends every year for the past two decades. Now, that's very important to find a monthly paying dividend stock that is also increasing their dividend payments every single year. And they have been increasing their um, dividends every single year for the last 20 years, guys. So let's go ahead and dive in, in, in compare these four dividend stocks to each other to see which one, if you had to narrow it down to one or you had to narrow it down to two, which two are you looking at to add to your portfolio? So we're gonna look at previous um, growth to try to analyze future growth to see which companies should we d divide um, our percentage of investments into. All right, here we are on the portfolio visualizer. Let's say that we started to invest into each of these companies back in 2012. Um, I think that's when the last company, the first year that they had went public was 2012. So we have to do it from then. Uh, let's say we started off with a thousand dollars and we reinvested, um, let's say a thousand dollars every single month. So $250 a week, we invest into the stock market, um, and just for inflation. And we invest a thousand dollars every single month. Um, no rebalancing, uh, reinvest dividends. Yes. Display income. Yes, and here we go. Ticker symbol, the first one is gonna be Realty Income. The next one is gonna be EPR. And the last one is gonna be STAG, S-T-A-G. And there we go, let's rename these. Portfolio one is ticker symbol O. Portfolio two is EP, EPR. And portfolio three is STAG, S-T-A-G. And portfolio one, 100%, 100%, and and 100%. Now, when we hit analyze, this is us investing a thousand dollars back in 2012, and then a $1,000 every single month into each of these companies. Hit analyze portfolio, and we're also reinvesting our dividends. Let's scroll down. Um, on ticker symbol O, we have $200,000 after what, 10 years. Um, EPR will have $152,000 and stack. We will have almost $300,000 in stack. Now let's go look at the dividend income we will have. Now, like I told you guys, um, EPR did cut their dividends in 2020 
and they are just bringing it back. But let's take a look at um, Stag right here. We'll be bringing in an extra 9,300 every single year in just the form of dividends. When we just was starting, we was only bringing in $600 a year from dividends. And um, ticker symbol O, you will be bringing in 7,000. And EPR will be bringing in um, $3,581. But before EPR cut their dividends back in 2019, they was making, they was making way more than Stag. Um, in fact, in 2019, they was making $9,598 in the form of dividends before they had to cut their dividends due to the pandemic. So let's replace uh, EPR with PBA. So let's scroll back up and change this to PBA. There we go. And change it to PBA. Scroll down here, analyze portfolio. And there we go, guys. PBA will have $173,000. So it's around the same as um, EPR. And if we scroll all the way down, here it goes. PBA will, in 2020, $7,000 from ticket symbol O, $8,000 from PBA, and $9,000 from STAG. So overall, STAG is looking like the way to go. We'll have close to um, $300,000 in the bank just from 2012 to 2021 that's just nine years guys um that we grew our account with a thousand dollars every single week to three hundred thousand dollars bringing in an extra 10 grand per year um increasing our salary by 10 grand by doing absolutely nothing in the form of dividends and there we go youtube let me know down below um in the comment section which company which dividend companies do you have in your portfolio that have been performing pretty well um which one of these four companies are you looking to add to your portfolio, if any at all? Or if there's another one that I missed that's even better than all of these, drop that down in the comment section down below. If you guys would like to have um, access to every time I buy and sell stocks, I'm going to leave a link in the comment section to my Patreon. You sign up for that and I'll uh, I post over there in my Discord every time I buy and sell stocks. So if you want access to that, that would be down in the comment section. Uh, before we go, don't forget to pick up your two free stocks on Weeble and your one free stock of Lucid by depositing $100. Um, those links are down in the description. But enough talking. I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.